Hi everyone! Today we're going to be building a bubble bot using little bits. Here are the parts you're going to need. One A1 battery, one A1 battery cable, one P1 power switch, one W30 Bluetooth low energy bit, one A13 fan, one A26 mounting board, and one bubble bot template. You will also need some extra parts outside of the little bits kit, which are tape, one plate, bubble solution, decorating materials, and a smartphone. Now we will begin by building our circuit. Here are the steps. First, connect the battery to the P1 power cable. Connect the power cable to the P1 power switch. Next, we will connect the P1 power cable to the BLE Bluetooth. Now, connect the BLE Bluetooth to the 013 fan. Attach your circuit by pressing it onto the mounting board. Tape the battery to the mounting board next to the power bit. Now press the fan onto the mountain board. Now it's time to assemble our bubble bot template. Grab the purple rectangular template from the template samples found within your little bits kit. Fold the template along the edges that are marked, then insert the paper flaps into the cut slits. Now that our bubble bot is assembled, it's sticker time. Use your imagination to decorate your bubble bot however you like. After you finish decorating, we will slide the template onto the fan. Secure the template with tape so it doesn't fall off later. Yay! Your bubble bot is fully assembled. Now, let's pour some bubble solution into a small plate. With the fan completely off, dip the tip of your bubble bot template into the bubble solution. When lifting the tip of the bubble too, you should see a thin film of bubble solution covering the opening. Now we will need to pair our bubble bot to our smartphone. On your phone, go to the App Store. Look up the application called Gizmos and Gadgets. Download it. Once you've downloaded the application, open it and select the Bit Controls option. Select the slider control. Turn on the bubble bot using the P1 power switch. Tap the green dot displayed on the screen with the Bluetooth connection light located in the bubble bot. After a successful pairing, you should be able to operate your bubble bot using your smartphone. Adjust the slider to control the speed. Pretty cool, right? Now you have bubbles.